Boruto is a traitor and all of Konoha is against him. Kawaki is Uzumaki now and Naruto's real son. We saw the true power of God that Ida wields. Chapter 79 of the Boruto manga is the beginning of the end. Just like Mamashiki said, Boruto lost everything. Enjoy watching. Mamashiki's prediction came true. Boruto lost everything, family and friends. Everyone considers him a traitor and blames him for Naruto's death. Even Mitsuki, who considered him the son and was ready to protect his friend, wanted to end his life because, in his opinion, Boruto insulted Kawaki, who Mitsuki now considers the son. Why did this happen? These are Ida's true abilities. In one of the chapters, when Amato talked about the girl's abilities, Momo said that Shinjutsu, which makes everyone fall in love with you, does not exist. And he was right. It turns out that this is a completely different technique. But Ida, since she is a human and not an Otsutsuki, could not contain this power. So it gradually came out of her. And because of this, everyone fell in love with her. However, in reality, her ability works differently. Omnipotence that can make any wish come true. Ida dreamed of being loved. And this power rewrote the creation of everyone in such a way that they loved the girl. That's why Momo said that there is no such shinjutsu. Shibai didn't have a technique that would make everyone fall in love with him. But he did have one one that allowed him to rewrite history. The chakra unites people, and the almighty god, with his power, can change the influence of this chakra, thereby rewriting the history of the entire planet in the way he wants. And all people will consider whoever Otsutsuki wants to be either an enemy, or a deity, or a member of the family. This is what happened to Ida. When Amato transplanted genes to her, he believed that this was the technique to fall in love with the Ida. However, in reality, it was a technique to rewrite history and memories. It was embodied by the desire of the owner. And since Ida wanted love, she got it. And now, when Kawaki ran away and the whole village pursued him, the girl wanted to help her lover and came to him. The guy spoke out loudly about what he wants. And he wanted Boruto to be an outsider, to be instead of him, so that no one would protect him and to make it easier to end him. Also, he wanted to see himself in the place of a guy. He wanted to be the son of the seventh Hakagi. And he wanted it so badly that through Ida, he activated a divine power that rewrote all history on Earth. With a huge explosion in the form of the Eye of Ida, the entire history of the planet was rewritten. And now, practically no one knew that Boruto was the son of Hakagi. And when the technique was already activated, Kawaki was found. And no one understood why he was with Ida and what was with his eye. Since according to their knowledge, which was overwritten, it was Boruto who attacked Kawaki and injured him. And Mamashiki began to mock Boruto, asking what it's like to lose everything. But the guy did not even understand what was happening until Mitsuki attacked him and until Mamashiki began to explain everything to him. So this gradually interested me with a few hints. It was said that this technique is available to God Almighty, the form that Shibai achieved, and this form is able to overwrite anything. And there was a hint that this was already happening, that the Otsutsuki had already rewritten history, and perhaps it happened on Earth. But what exactly? It is very interesting. Also, it was explained to us that some people did not succumb to the influence of this technique. This is Boruto himself because he is Otsutsuki, Kawaki for the same reason, Ida who used this technique, and Sarada for an unknown reason to Momo. But most likely, the class representative also did not undergo this technique, as Ida's enchantment did not work on her. This is basically all on whom this technique did not work. Which means everyone else thinks Kawaki is Naruto's son. And I already assumed that it would be so. Since Kawaki's appearance seems to be made in order to be the son of the seventh and Hinata, his hairstyle, with a fusion of black and yellow, is like the amalgamation of the seventh and his wife. Therefore, this outcome was logical. But now, I wonder how Amato will act. After all, everyone thinks that Boruto is Kawaki. This means that everyone must think that Ashiki's karma is in him. And this means that Amato will look for Boruto, so that the guy will help him resurrect his daughter. Also, I wonder what will happen to Himawari? Did she fall under the influence of technique or not? And finally, we come to the fact that in the manga itself, the time skip will begin soon, since Boruto will have to disappear, leave the leaf. And now, it is not known how Sasuke will be involved in this. If this technique didn't work on Sarada, it's possible that it didn't work on him too. And Ichiha would leave the village and be considered a criminal. That is why Boruto will be with his katana and in his clothes, since Ichiha will be considered the criminal who helped kill Hakagi. Or will Sarada run away with Boruto? Not known, but very interesting. I have more questions questions. What will Code do? Did this technique work on him? After all, Ida's enchantment worked on him. 
which means that Code should think Boruto is Kawaki. So, to want to sacrifice Kawaki himself, the way he had previously wanted to do it with Boruto, and Boruto himself will already be in Kawaki's place. And maybe Code wants to spare him, because he wants to impress Ida. However, this is just a guess. But the truth is that Boruto will now be an enemy not only for Konoha, but for all shinobi on Earth. All countries will look for him as the traitor who killed the seventh Hakagi, because, after Ida rewrote history, Kawaki told her to tell everyone that Boruto killed Naruto. Also, another very interesting point, which hints that Amato wants to achieve only his goals. Turns out he can disable Kawaki with a command. Just like he once did with Delta. Back then, Cash and Koji wondered if he himself could be turned off with the same command. And here we get the answer that everything that happened with Code was Amato's plan. The return of the boy's strength. Since, most likely, he wants the divine fruit to be created by Code's hands. And his daughter, whom he plans to resurrect thanks to Kawaki, will eat this fruit. Since, if a scientist is able to turn off Kawaki, in whom is Ishiki's karma, this means that he placed a shutdown command for each cyborg. And this is, Damon, Ida, Code, Cash and Koji, and Kawaki himself. So Amato can disable anyone, but he doesn't do that, because they work the way he wants. More precisely, acted, up to this moment. Therefore, he had to reveal the secret to Shikamaru, saying that Kawaki had a shutdown command. And this greatly surprised the deputy Hakagi, as the scientist was hiding an ace up his sleeve. And the question arises, how many more of these trump cards does he have? And all these events, perhaps, will allow Mama Shiki to convince Boruto that he needs to become a god himself himself in order to use the same shinjutsu and rewrite history back. There is another suggestion that this technique did not work on code, since he is in another dimension. Therefore, he will not consider Kawaki to be Naruto's son. It can also happen to Kash and Koji. He disappeared in the battle against Ishiki, most likely to another world, or the one from which he summoned the flames, or went to Mount Miyaboku. And thus he will return, and he can tell Amato the truth. I'm looking forward to new chapters of the manga, as I'm curious how Sasuke, Amato, Kode and Himawari will act. Where will Boruto hide, if everyone considers him a traitor? Only Sasuke can help him with this. It was a very interesting chapter. I look forward to your opinion about it in the comments. Good luck to all.